So uh, increases the critical strike damage bonus of all spells by 50%. Oh my god. My favorite part. The mage. And the first thing I read there. It's a frost fire bolt. No way. Engrave belt with frost fire bolt. Launches a bolt of frost fire at the enemy. Causing a uh, X amount of damage. That's the math formula for... Um, how it's going to scale but if since it's gonna scale one to one probably right or was it um either one to one or one to zero point eighty four anyway this spell we will check against the lower of the target's frost and count both frost and fire we're gonna play fire with frost fire bolt does it apply a slow because i didn't see <clears throat> causing 40 percent movement speed yes how do you feel about this frost fire bolt we no longer spam frost bolt now we spam um Crossfire bolt. We have, oh my god, we have hot streak. So we cannot have both. If one is frostfire bolt and one is hot streak, we cannot have both. Anytime you score a two non periodic spell critical in a row using fireball, fire blast, scorch, or living bomb, your next fire blast will be. Oh, guys, I thought we were going to play arcane here, but we're playing fire this phase. I feel like so Wrath of the Lich Kingy. Yeah, this is going to be the new preferred thing. There's another one for belt. Missile Barrage. Gives your arcane blast 40% chance. Fireball and Frostbolt spells a 20% chance to reduce the channel duration of your next arcane missiles by 50%. And mana cost by 100. This is interesting because arcane might be better than fire here. Arcane missiles is going to be free of cost. Max rank. And cast twice at fast. And it's a 40% with Arcane Blast. So for Fire, it's going to be Hot Streak, definitely. And for Arcane, it's going to be Arcane Blast. However, it works for Fireball as well, this rune. But no one is going to take... Let me check if people are going to take a 20% chance over... Uh, no. Your Frost Damage Spells with Chilling Effects have a 15% chance to cause your next Fireball, Spell Fire, Frost Bolt, or Frost Fireball be instant cast and cost no mana? Wait, what? Your Frost Damage Spells with Chilling Effects have a 15%... Let's see, those are the boots rune. And we have another one, Chronostatic Preservation. Chronostatic Preservation heals a friendly target for... Okay, it's a heal. Fire, Frost, and Magic to freeze chromatic energy into the stored state of later use. You can hold this energy up for 15 seconds before it combusts and expires. When unleashed, heals a friendly target for a specific amount of heal. Okay, this is a healing spell, Chronostatic Preservation. And then we go to engrave a Bracer's Bale Firebolt. Unleash a reality-distorting burst of raw magic at your enemy, dealing spell fire damage each time you cast Bale Firebolt. The damage of the next Bale Firebolt within 30 seconds will be increased by 10%, and your spirit will be decreased by 10% for 30 seconds, both stacking for 10 times. If your spirit reaches zero, as a consequence, you will immediately die. This is probably not gonna get into the game. For those who watch this on YouTube, uh, keep in mind that... Um, some of those runes will probably not make it into the game. Maybe half of them will, because this has been data mined. But Agron, the lead developer of Classic WoW, said that some of those runes are not yet into the game. They're just tests, they're just placeholders, and things will change. My best guess is that most of the belt and boot one will get into the game at level 40. And then we have a couple of other things here. Oh my god, look at the... the, the oh, we engraved boot spell power. Teleport you back where you cast Blink from. And so you can blink off a cliff and then get back on the top of the cliff. Uh, molten armor. Oh my god. Engrave your braces with molten armor. You know how molten armor works. 5% critical strike. Reduces the chance to get critical hit. This might be in the future. We have deep freeze. This is interesting because we have a deep freeze and brain freeze. Two different ones. Only usable on frozen targets. Stuns the target for 5 seconds. Listen, a lot of things can change. They still have like one week before they release this. So take it with a grain of salt still. We have engrave helm temporal anomaly. Launches an orb of temporal energy which slowly moves towards the target and grants all nearby party members a shield absorbing a specific amount of damage for 15 seconds. Oh, this is going to be for uh, healers, for mage healers. They're giving another healing spell. And then we go to the last one, which is a boot spell, which um, apparently the, the, the boots and the belt runes might be in the game. So... Uh, Engrave boot spell power. So uh, increases the critical strike damage bonus of all spells by 50%. Oh my god. If this is in game, this stacks with probably the 100% from frost spells. This changes everything, man. This is huge. 50% critical strike damage bonus. This combined with the 15 with the burnout rune, combined with combustion or whatever and fire. Arcane uh, power. This is gonna wow. Mages might be pumpers in phase two, guys. I'm not sure what to say about rogues and warriors. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Remember to subscribe and leave a like. Um, are you going to play mage in phase two? Do you have an alt mage? Um, wanna have a chat? Wanna hang out? Come at twitch.tv/prostadamus, and um, see you in my next video. Bye bye.